The settlement agreement is a legally binding document between an employer and an employee following a dispute and the purpose of it is to resolve any potential or actual claim before it gets to the employment tribunal. At Stevenson's we act for both sides in these kinds of disputes, so for employees and employers, and we think that gives us a good insight into the types of arguments that either side are likely to put forward. Settlement agreements are a beneficial way of avoiding costly and time-consuming litigation, and really they give an employee the guarantee of an upfront payment without the need to gamble on whether a claim is going to be successful at an employment tribunal. From an employer's perspective, they give the reassurance that a former employee isn't going to bring a claim against them at a later date. Typically settlement agreements include clauses relating to payments, payment terms, claims to be settled, taxation and confidentiality and they can also include clauses relating to post-termination restrictions, items of company property to be retained and sometimes they do include a reference for the outgoing employee. Typically settlement agreements are reached following a without prejudice or off the record discussion between an employee and an employer. The employee is then given a draft copy of the agreement and asked or should be instructed to take independent legal advice and that's the point at which we come in. We can come in earlier and we can deal with negotiations around the figure but usually once a draft agreement has been produced then an employee will seek our independent advice at that stage. Following the contact from the employee what we do is we set up a meeting with them that can be face to face or over the telephone and we then review the circumstances surrounding the agreement and the document itself and then revert to the other side and we suggest any amendments that might need to be made. Typically the process lasts maybe a couple of days up to a week, but that does very much vary depending upon the cooperation of the other side in the process. From an employee's perspective, they really need to know the rights that they're signing away because these documents are often lengthy. They will restrict the activities of the employee after they leave the employment. And from an employer's perspective, they need to be sure that the employee has had that independent advice because otherwise it doesn't prevent the employee from pursuing a claim at a later date. In the vast majority of cases, the employer contributes to the employee's legal fees. Now that contribution can sometimes cover the whole cost of legal fees. It does vary depending upon the circumstances of the potential claim and the negotiations themselves. Sometimes an employee will want us to negotiate on the figure itself and that will generally not be covered by a contribution from the employer for obvious reasons. There is a great deal of choice when thinking about which solicitor to instruct for a settlement agreement, but at Stevenson's we've got a really experienced team and we really strive to get the best results for our clients.